The ripple voltage is a crucial parameter to consider in switched mode power supply operation. This SMPS operates in flyback mode and will be used to demonstrate how to measure ripple voltage using an oscilloscope. Check the output voltage with a multimeter at 12 ohm load. It is 4.98 volts. In this measurement, the retractable hook tip and ground alligator clip are removed, and the ground spring is used to minimize the chances of ground loops. This helps reduce noise in the measurement. Adjust the oscilloscope settings. To account for ripple voltage, which refers to small fluctuations or ripples superimposed on the DC output voltage of the power supply, change the channel coupling from DC mode to AC mode. Change the probe attenuation ratio from the default 10x to 1x as this is a low voltage measurement and we want the signal to be accurately represented without any attenuation. The second probe is connected to the secondary side of the transformer to catch the SMPS switching waveform, providing a reference for this measurement. Power on the SMPS and capture the ripple voltage waveform. The ripple voltage measures approximately 16 MV, with the same frequency as the SMPS switching frequency, which is about 100 kHz in this case. These ripples are primarily caused by the switching action within the SMPS circuitry, as is evident from the observation. Typically, the ripple voltage should be less than 0.5% of the output voltage. In this measurement, it is approximately 0.32% of the output voltage. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing for more content like this. Thank you for watching.